So for right now, I feel like of those of you who are, I want to say my single Virgos, I feel like a lot of you guys are going through some type of separation. Um, I feel like for right now, there was a death of something. So if you look at these cards, these are the cards that I laid out as a shuffle the deck, okay? These two cards right here, they fell out the deck when I was shuffling it. This is the last card of the deck. Okay, and then these two cards came out of um, the deck as well. And this one did too as I was shuffling it. Okay, so I feel like there's some type of separation of some kind. Um, that separation was due to the person not being honest. I feel like one other person in the relationship acted foolishly or had the um attitude like they didn't care like they weren't worried about their their actions like they kind of just um i want to i don't want to say take advantage but i feel like they did take advantage for in a certain extent because they didn't appreciate a lot of the things so i feel like there's some type of separation of some kind or there was a separation um prior to this reading that um was due to two or three two or there was three people in that relationship. Not necessarily everybody was dating, but I feel like um, two people were in a relationship. Another person was, uh, you know, the side person, basically. Um, I feel like things had to end. There was an end of something, so that was the end of the relationship. I feel like that was needed. Um, but I also see some type of recon reconciliation for you guys. I just want to tell you, though, about this person that broke up with you or lied to you or cheated on you. Um, don't trust them because I feel like they've lied to you plenty of times, not just um, one or two times. I feel like they've lied to you a lot of times. There's a lot of things that you don't know. There's a lot of things that are hidden. And I feel like... Um, you know, you really, you're really not seeing the situation for what it is. I feel like you're kind of like blinded, um, stagnant, like, um, kind of not really looking at it. I feel like you're, you're fear of the new, your fear of the unknown, your fear of the new. So I kind of feel like you're holding on to this relationship and you're not really looking at, um, things for what it is. Kind of like you're blind, like you're not just seeing everything that's, you know, really going on. Um, I feel like there can be, like I was saying, the reconciliation. I feel like there can be, you know, somebody might come back. For me, this feels like a reconcile of somebody, a guy and a girl. They're exchanging. If you see the cups, they're exchanging their feelings. They're exchanging their emotions. I feel like that separation, somebody from the past could come back and want to exchange um, emotions with you or want to reconcile the relationship prior to that. This right here is a message coming your way. This is somebody, since there's cups for me, I feel like that's somebody coming to tell you about, um, about emotions or about feelings. I feel like they're going to, maybe they might want to come and tell you exchange about how they feel or they miss you or something. It's an offer. Someone is giving you like an offer for emotions to, Involving emotions, but I, 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 for me, I feel like if you are going to even listen at all, I feel like really listen to it and really contemplate it before you actually jump the gun, before you actually jump to say yes or before you say no. I feel like really consider it, really, 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 really think about it. So if you want to reconcile with this person, you miss this person because I feel like you're, you're not looking at things clearly and that person's coming towards you. Um, I do want to say this though, even though that person might come back and say, hey, you know what, I'm sorry, I want to be with you. I don't feel like he will. they'll be there for a long period of time. I feel like they're still not going to be that honest with you like you're looking for. I feel like you're looking for something with a more of a meaning and you want something more serious, more positive. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys, they're from this breakup, um, you're kind of like maybe sad, depressed, or just having trouble sleeping because you're wondering when they're going to come back or you're wondering when they're going to talk to you. I see a reconciling somebody coming back from the past that you've had. Um, calling it true, saying sorry, um, maybe forgetting, forgiving and forgetting is another thing. Um, for me, you have the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like possibly maybe you can get, um, some type of, um, 
they can come around within that time period. If it hasn't happened this month, I feel like give it till April. April, April is like the cutoff date. April, you know, ending of April. They might come and offer you something, okay? So give it to, give it to the ending of April, I feel like. Um, for this relationship, I feel like for the people that are separated, the single Virgos, um, take this in consideration, okay? Because this is a person that's like the fool. They act naively. They don't really, really think about their consequences. They kind of just do whatever they want to do without really, um, thinking about it. So since I pulled this card, this part was next to this card, came after it. So for me, I feel like this person that you're involved with, this is a seven of, um, Sword. So this is deception. This is lies, slanders. Not only does this person lie to you, but the pe other people lie to them. So I feel like they've lied to you plenty of times. I feel like the deception, there's not, there's just honesty here. The person is not honest. Now, when it gets reversed, it would signify the opposite of what it is upright. So upright is dishonest. This is being honest. This person is not honest. I feel like they're not honest. They kind of just don't care if they hurt anybody. And I feel like too, like, um, if they hurted you, you know, with, with that separation or some, that separation you guys had, I feel like, um, they kind of just walked away kind of like, like, <laughs> and really mind your feelings. They didn't really care about your feelings. Kind of like they were just like, yeah, whatever. You know, so if they come back to reconcile, I feel like don't really jump the gun. Because if you're looking for something more positive than somebody that is actually going to stick around, I don't feel like that. I feel like as quick as they come, it could be as quick as they go. Especially if you make things easy for them to to get back with you. If you don't put up a fight and say, hey, you know, I don't want you to treat me that way. Um, I don't feel like they're going to stay a very long time. Okay. But I feel like even though. You, you still persevere. You still move forward. Despite the setbacks, despite the sadness, despite the fact that you were hurt, I still feel like you persevere, okay? Um, and maybe those, those of you who were dealing from with that person in the past, I feel like some of you guys might feel like, man, like it's, it's always a constant battle with them. It's like you, you, percentage of you being happy is like, I would say like 60% and the rest of it is like a battle. Like you just have to always keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting. I feel like you always have to work harder than what you're getting. You get me? But kind of like saying, um, you, you give more than what you're getting. You know what I mean? And I feel like you just keep persisting, persisting, persisting. Or another thing too, I feel like, um, since you're a Virgo, um, I feel like um with that person that you're dealing with, or you kind of like the more you're persisting with them, or the more you want to talk to them, the more you want to be with them, you kind of you're pushing them the opposite direction. You get me? It's kind of like saying like it's crazy how it works, but the more that you pressure the person that you want to be with, the more you push them farther than you. So instead of you thinking that you're you're gonna get them closer by telling them you want to be with them and you know you don't want to be with anybody else but them, you're actually pushing them farther. You're actually making them feel like, man, you know what? Let me stop talking to her completely because she doesn't leave me alone. You're kinda like nagging them, okay? So the quickest way to get them to actually like see that you're not playing around is by, you know, putting your guard on, putting your guard up. Like this right here. This is the King of Rods. Um, for me, I feel like this is like an energy, like this is an energy that you need to be, you need to hold your ground and say, Hey, you know what? You hurt me, whatever the case is, but I'm not going to continue to be a victim. I know what I want and you're not, you're not going to give me what I want. Okay. Even though they come back and call it reconcile and say, forgive and forget So you can forgive, but you never forget. Okay. Um, I feel like it's really think about it because they're not honest to you. They're not even honest to themselves. Okay. Um, I feel like some of you Virgos can be dealing with somebody that can be older than you. I'm not saying like 50 years older than you. I'm saying maybe a couple years older than you. For those of you who are in your 20s, this person is in their 30s and ups, okay? This person right here, the Knight of Pentacles, and that right here is going to be an earth sign. So an earth sign is you. Your This is your sign. So Virgos are earth signs. So Virgo, Taurus... And um, Capricorn are earth signs. So this right here can signify um, 
your, you and your energy, okay? I feel like those of you can also be involved with your same sign. So if you're a Virgo, you can be involved with another Earth sign, another Virgo, um, a Capricorn, or um, a Taurus. So you can be involved with that. Now, for those of you who are Virgos and you're dealing with another Earth sign, this energy Earth sign, I feel like this person is selfish, okay? This person right here... Um, their energy is scattered. Maybe they might talk to multiple people or they have multiple options, but I don't see them being completely, um, completely invested in you. This right here is, uh, is, is the, um, three, four, five, six, seven, the cups, okay? So for me, this is emotion. So if you look closely, I feel like this person is just going. This person is just moving. Maybe this person, this is the person that left your life. But I feel like they have a lot of options to date. They're not completely honest with you. They talk, they might talk to other people, okay? I don't see them being where they're focused only on you. I feel like their energy is completely scattered. Sometimes the illusion that you have about this person, you really don't know them. I don't feel like you know everything about it. I feel like they're lie. I feel like they've lied to you multiple times. Okay, I don't feel like they're being they're not invested like you're invested, okay? Um, overall you have the world. You can be successful okay? So just make sure that, um, I dropped that card. So just make sure that you believe in yourself and believe that you can move forward and believe that you can attract what you want, okay? So this right here for me, it's a celebration. I feel like maybe people out of town or maybe you're going to travel out of town to go see a person or some of you guys are involved with a person that lives out of town. You're going to go get together with them. I see three the three women. You're going to celebrate with three women. There's a celebration coming soon. I feel like you're going to celebrate with people from out of town or you can possibly travel out of town to see that person, okay? Maybe you might even travel out of town and actually um see your ex or see the person that you were involved with at a celebration of some kind because this right here the card in the middle is a celebration a celebration coming so possibly you might be able to travel or go to a party or something and see your ex there so you're, that's why you guys are going to call it truth i feel like because um certain things happened in the past okay we can't really um Sorry for moving the camera, guys. We cannot really change what has what happened, but the only thing we can do is learn, take what we've learned from that from that situation, and move forward. Okay, so I feel that as well. Maybe you possibly you might go to a, a party or something, and you're going to see them. Follow your intuition. This right here is a six of pentacles. This is giving being generous, generous. Um, as I feel like maybe you, some of you guys might give a lot in the relationship. Maybe the person that you were involved with, you, you gave them things. I don't, I want to say like, you know, money and stuff like that, but possible. It could be a possibility. Um, I feel like you, you, you were, you were generous with that person. Like you weighed your, you stretched yourself out to actually accommodate that person and you didn't get that in return. Okay, so that's uh, that's another thing. The high priestess, follow your intuition because whatever it is that you feel about the situation is always true. Um, I know a lot of people don't believe in it, but I can't stress that enough. Like sometimes we have premonition when we have dreams and stuff like that, or we see things in your dreams, like. If you have trouble sleeping and you're having dreams, your dreams carry your answers as well. Whatever answers that you're seeking, they carry them. So I'm going to um, start adding in the Doreen Virtue Romantic Oracle Angel cards in my reading videos. So hopefully you guys are going to like that. I'm sorry guys, I keep moving the camera. Okay, so let's see. What are the messages? For Virgo. I already shuffled them and everything prior to this, so that's why I'm not suffering. Pay attention to the red flags. So that is a message from the angels. The signs are cautioning you. So that is see, that's the thing. Um, like I was saying about the relationship. When somebody comes back, um, you have to really look at the situation for what it is. So if that person likes you and cheated on you, whatever the case is, prior to that, I don't feel like they're changed much, especially if you, they come back and you make it easy for them. So pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. 
So take caution to the person that you're actually um, trying to get involved with. Unrequited love. Okay, that's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So that is that. That's what I'm saying. I don't feel like if that person comes back, I don't feel like it's gonna take be a long time. Because if because again, this is what the angels are are expressing to you. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Sometimes it's really not worth it to let yourself be used or to be used yourself mentally, men emotionally, and physically so pay attention guys um romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring your feelings are real and worth exploring not all the time not every person that we like or have feelings for it can reciprocate the same thing that we feel religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path possibly um the person that you were seeking has things that you are looking for for someone to settle down, stuff like that. I feel like um, you really think about it. You're really thinking about, you know, if that was, person was to come back, you're really going to sit there and contemplate it because there's a lot of things that you feel like it could work out. You know, you can make it work, but I feel like you don't want to waste your time doing that, okay? Past life relationship. You have known each other before, so maybe possibly you might feel like that person, that your, your ex, you feel like you've known him, the, known them before. Um, so it might be hard for you to let go. Um, possibly the person that you're dealing with or your, your ex, that person you know them in the, your past life. That is why you're so strongly emotionally connected. One more card. This could be the one. You already met the romantic partner of your soul, of your, you seek. So if you're seeking something romantic, for those of you who are single, because I don't see this too much about the ones that are, you know, separated or the person coming back. This is for my single Virgos. You could have possibly already met the, the person of your dreams. You could possibly have met um, the person that you'll end up with or you're married or you'll fall in love with. But I, the, my uh, advice to you is not to be so close-minded, okay? Try not to give your heart so so quick try to make sure you read all the fine print make sure that if they have signs of them not being you know honest or um come fully invested in you don't waste your time i read something on the internet the other day that said if you want to make it to the relationship if you want to make it to um actually being in a relationship you have to you have to be um honest during the talking part so if you want if you if you want to date somebody the only way you're going to be able to form an actual union with them is if they can actually talk to you prior to actually dating you and be honest a lot of the people talk to people and they want to get to know a person but they're getting to know five other people at the same time that's not fully invested that's not saying that the person isn't invested in you so you want to make sure that if they cannot be honest while you're talking then there's no need for you to move forward and build a relationship with them so hopefully this video is enough for you guys hopefully you guys like my reading please like subscribe 